Hi, my name's John Doyle from the ExcelCalcs.com site. Uh, I'm here to uh, tell you a little bit about how uh, best to present a calculation using uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, for you, those of you that don't know uh, anything about the um, ExcelCalcs.com website, we deliver uh, some software, free uh, Excel add-in, which produces uh, from the cell formula uh, a nice, uh, easily readable mathematical equation. Uh, let's have a look at how I like to see calculations laid out. First of all, uh, I recommend that you uh, download the XLC template from the excelcalcs.com website. Uh, this arranges uh, a worksheet in a kind of grid format on the left hand side of the page and over on the right hand side of the page you see a kind of normal uh, Excel style display. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the template uh, has um, an area defined uh, for the purpose of the calculation. Uh, so this particular uh, calculation is to calculate the contact stress between uh, two cylinders when they're squeezed together. And of course it's very important to provide a sketch of the problem because a sketch makes uh, a much more succinct point uh, in terms of describing the calculation that you're undertaking. Um, here we can see how uh, I use this kind of grid format in this area. I've arranged all the uh, description of uh, calculation parameters uh, are, are all arranged in the same column. So if I want to italicize them all, I can do that very quickly just by selecting that column uh, and uh, italicizing. Uh, alternatively, uh, I uh, could also uh, change the size of all my worksheet equations. If I select column H, which is where all the EQS statements are, I can select, say, uh, a bigger size font, and when I redraw all the worksheet equations using the XLC add-in, you can see that all the calculations are now bigger. I think I'll just switch them back, though, just to uh, save a little bit of uh, screen space. OK, there we go. Now. The other thing that's arranged in columns is the actual calculation method itself. We can see the contact force here uh, and we calculate a maximum compressive stress which is probably the uh, um, thing we're trying to determine for the calculation. Now if I want to repeat that calculation many times it's very easy to select the whole column, copy it, take it over to the uh, right hand side of the uh, uh, template and just paste it through. Now. The, obviously that's calculating the, repeating the same calculation uh, but what we're doing here really is we're going to change the contact force which was 4000 and we're going to increase it by a thousand newtons each time I'm going to copy that okay so we've repeated the calculation a number of times now and as we increase the contact force we should see the compressive stress also increasing, which of course it does. Uh, now, now that we have it laid out in the normal uh, Excel style format, it's very easy to produce charts and do all the other things uh, that you uh, w w might like to do with this kind of data. But I think the point I'd like to emphasize here is, is that the presentation of the calculation occurs on the right hand side of the page and the kind of the detailed calculations uh, con uh, uh, take place on the right hand side. Uh, this is a, a very useful uh, way of setting out uh, your calculation. It's very easily readable uh, and it's very easy to uh, audit, uh, audit the calculation. There's also just a, a couple of points here. The calculation is obviously very important. Uh, it tells us about the uh, reliability of the calculation method uh, and the other uh, area that's always on uh, the uh, calculation template is the calculation validation. Now this is where an author can say uh, how he knows that he's encoded the calculation method correctly. Uh, it's very important that we have both uh, a calculation reference and the calculation validation. Okay, this concludes my uh, little presentation on how to lay out uh, calculations in Microsoft Excel. I hope you found it useful. Pop along to the excelcounts.com website if you need any help. See you there.